Good morning. So today what we are working on um, are manipulatives or um, charts for reference for your elements of art. So for kindergarten and first grade, <clears throat> excuse me, what I want you to do is I want you to work on a few of the elements of art first and then we'll move along. So what your elements of art are, they are the ingredients to creating artwork. There are seven main elements of art. You have line, shape, color, value, form, texture, and space. And so for today's lesson, I want kindergarten and first grade to only focus on line, shape, and color because those are the main ones that you will be working with. So what when I say you're going to make a manipulative, what you're going to do basically is create, um, it's not really a work of art, but it could be. So this is one, for example, that has all of the seven elements of art. You guys will be making one that has only three. So the first thing you're going to do, I'm going to change my camera so that you can see my paper. It can be any kind of just plain paper. But the first thing you're going to do, you're going to always start with the pencil first. And you can use any shape you want. But I'm going to start with a circle in the middle. And I'm going to write elements of art. And we're going to come back over that with a marker. So see, all I did was drew a circle, and it doesn't have to be perfect. And I put elements of art in the middle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to now divide my paper so that I have three sections. And it doesn't matter what size they are, but I just divided my paper into three sections. I'm going to do a different one in case you don't want to use that design. Maybe I put elements of art in the middle. And I can draw a square around it. And maybe I draw another square around it. And maybe I draw another square. So what you basically want to do is to create one, two, three areas where you can display your elements of art. And it could be anything. Um, let me show you another one. Maybe I do a triangle. And I can write elements of art. And maybe I just draw big triangles. There's one. There's another one. And maybe that's my last one over here. I just want you to have fun and be creative. So once you've gotten your um, basics down, we're going to always go back over everything with the marker. Just so that it stands out a little bit more and you can see it. And I don't care if you use the same color marker or different color markers, but this is basically what you're going to do. And the reason we don't start with the marker is because we want to be able to erase. And then I'm going to trace on top of my words, elements of art. And you can make those letters and things in the middle as creative as you want. All right, um, and I would do the same thing with these other ones. Just trace. And the last one was the square. And these are all basic shapes and you will be learning about that element of art because we use shapes a lot in art. I normally use a black marker 
but I wanted to do something a little bit different because I know with you being at home you may not have the same supplies that I have all right so the three elements of art that you're going to be working on and let me just show you so that's one that's another example and that's another example so the first one I said was line and basically I just want you to write line as large as you can in one section then we're going to write shape and again you can write these wherever you want and then the last one's going to be color and I'll let, let you look at that one and I'm going to do the same thing on these other ones so we're going to put I'm going to put shape in this one I'll do line in this one and I'll do color in this one and again it doesn't matter where you end up putting your words and on this last one I'm going to do I think I want to put shape out here yeah we'll do shape line and color all right so what happens next is there's going to be a video that i want you guys to watch that describe line shape and color um, they're really fun videos where they sing along but I'm only gonna do one just to kind of show you how I want you to work on these um, so I think I want to do I'll do this one so where it talks about line in the, the art world lines are any type of line that you can create that starts with a dot so you can have horizontal lines and I'm gonna go ahead and use a marker I'm gonna use a few different color markers and you can use markers or crayons or color pencils whatever you want um, but you can have a horizontal line you can have a vertical line see I start at a point I can have a diagonal line I can have a wavy line. I can have a zigzag line. I can have a broken line. I can have a swirly line. And it's even okay if my lines touch each other. I can have a what we call kind of just an organic line it can go in any direction you want kind of like a loop-de-loop -loop. so that's what you would do in line all right your next section would be shape in that section for shape you're going to draw all the different types of shapes you know how to draw so we're going to start with a circle And if you want to draw a different size circle, you can. So I'm going to put a teeny tiny circle over here. I'm going to come in and do another shape. I'm going to do a triangle. And again, these can be any size you want. I'm going to do a square. And you can put them anywhere you want. I can even put a square inside my circle. How about that? Ooh, here's a favorite. Let's do a heart. And on my heart, I'm actually going to color it in. So you can color your shapes in if you want to. And I think I'll do... 
a purple part right here. I'm going to draw it upside down. And it's really fun if you color these in, but you don't have to. All right. Um, and then you would just keep on going with your shapes. Maybe you do an oval or a diamond or a rhombus. Um, you can do a star if you know how to draw stars. All your different shapes. And in the last section, we're basically going to focus on color. And we know colors come in all different um shades and just colors are everywhere so what i'm going to do is just kind of draw some separation lines in here just to kind of add my color and i can again use any supplies i want and i'm just going to color in just to show color if you wanted to you could have colored a rainbow it doesn't matter okay and I'm rushing a little bit, but I want you guys to make sure that you fill in all of the white areas. All of that negative space. And you're going to learn about that when you learn about the element of space. And it's okay if you use markers and crayons or markers and color pencils. It doesn't matter. But you would keep going. And even in this area over here, where I have all of my shapes. If I wanted to color the background, I could do that also. So if I wanted to just color everything all in green, I could do that. And then maybe inside here, I wanted to do a different color, or maybe I want to do something like this where I use more than one color again you can be as creative as you want but this is something that you'll hold on to and you'll be able to go back and look at later as we are continuing to create art um, and learn about the different elements of art all right I look forward to seeing your um, your designs and your element of art charts that's what we're going to call them and thank you guys so much have a wonderful day of virtual learning all right see you next time